Hello, sports fans. This is Stephen here for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at this matchup here, you're looking at the Dallas Cowboys and you're seeing how they dismantled the Rams. This was a pretty easy game for them. You saw Dak Prescott go crazy, CD Lamb go crazy. You saw different defensive players have great days on the Cowboys. And that's what you're expecting from a team that's supposed to be a, a Super Bowl contender. You saw the Philadelphia Eagles take care to watch the Commanders late in that football game, and A.J. Brown went nuts. You're looking at his relationship with uh, 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 Jalen Hurts and how people say, oh, well, they're doing this, they're doing that. No, these guys are just fine. They're dialed in. They go through their ups and downs, their teammates, their best friends, and they're working towards greatness. You saw exactly how when his number was called, when his bell was rang, he went up and he got the key catches. He got the big touchdown. He did everything they needed him to do. And there was a one-two punch of Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown defeating the commanders. You saw the defense step up late with a little bit of static, but you're looking for the Philadelphia Eagles to improve this week. You want to see better defensive tackles. You don't want to see missed tackles like you saw last week. And you want to see the edge to be set big time by this run game by the Eagles. The offensive lines will not have to protect Jalen <coughs> because the Cowboys' edge rushers are going to be coming. you got to think, Michael Parsons and company are coming, and they're coming from every kind of way. They're trying to confuse Philly's offense. So I expect a couple of tight ends or either another lineman in there this week. I expect them to be uh, buckled down with a little bit of pressure defense. I think the running backs need to stay in a little bit more to protect Jalen and chip block and stuff like that, and then get out in the route once you block. But I think that's that's an easy that's an easy thing for them. I think Dak's going to have to be consistent in the third and fourth quarter. Those adjustments, third and fourth quarter, are going to be key because the Philadelphia Eagles are going to punch you. you have to, if you're Dallas, you're going to be able to punch back. So I feel like opening this game, the Dallas Cowboys could take a quick lead, but the Philadelphia Eagles could very well chip away from that lead and take them into overtime or either the last person that scores in the fourth quarter wins for this one. I'm picking the Philadelphia Eagles to win this one. I think I like what they've seen since they've lost to the Jets. They've come back and showed uh, not only fourth quarter uh, closing, but clutch. They've showed that they can get the job done no matter what the lead is going into the fourth quarter by the opposition. And I think Jalen is just a better quarterback than Dak at this point. The X factor is going to be the quarterback in this one. I like Jalen over Dak. No disrespect. So all you Cowboys fans, all you Eagles fans, get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus. We'll see you in the very next video.